within us, be on us, be within us, amen. That if your spirit is within us, that will rise up on wings like eagles, amen. Make it your prayer this evening and ask him that God abide in me and lead your Holy Spirit. Come and tell him, here I am waiting.
and tell God that God one more of your love one more of your power one more of your spirit God we can't have enough of your presence before we are here and we are crying out for more of you in our lives come on let's sing more love
just want to continue to worship and say, Lord, you are awesome in this place. That your presence is with us. Therefore, we just want to acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit that God, you are awesome in this place. of our soul will never ever let you go because you've taken us from a Mary clay. Oh man.
Okay, powerful. I want us to turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 22. Hallelujah. Okay, it reads as follows. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Hallelujah. Uh, I want us to give an offering, but I want to encourage us. Hallelujah. Charlie. <laughs> All right. I also want us to turn to the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 38. Hallelujah. Charlie, it's not simple. Okay. Uh, Luke, chapter 6, verse 38. Okay. It says, Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. This is the part that I like. <laughs> the amount you give will determine the amount you get back. What a shock. Chale, uh, I don't know if I should say fortunately or unfortunately. Oh, please, you may be seated. Forgive me. But I think you understand. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this week, it, it so happened that I needed some serious help. It's unfortunate that I had to be in my own preaching. But anyways, it just so happened that I needed some serious help. And I approached a couple of people asking for help. The, the kind of help that I received. <laughs> I noticed that I'm not a giver. Hallelujah. So, and I can't be angry at the people that were giving. It's a principle. What I have given is what I received. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you, and, and I'm encouraging myself, to give a very good offering. Hallelujah. Because after all, if you give 50 rand, it's okay. If you give 100, it's okay. But it's unfair to expect that God should give you like, what, 500,000 because you've given 50 rand. It doesn't work that. It would be nice to get the 50,000, but it goes against the principle that the same measure that you have given is the same measure that will be used for you to get back. Hallelujah. So I want somebody to encourage me also and give a very good offering. Hallelujah. So please lift up your hands with an offering. I know it's that time of the month, eh? but shall I do something? <laughs> All right. And I want us to pray. Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity to give and to give in your house. We pray, Lord, that the scripture will be activated, that as we are giving, Lord, you will touch many people to give back unto us. You will touch our employers, our parents, uncles, everyone to give back unto us. And we pray that you help us to also have an expectant heart as we are giving. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right, I want us to welcome the choir. All right, hallelujah. The choir, give it up for the choir.
Don't you know?